Right, in today's video, we're going to display the CDS view we created in the previous video in an ALV. In that ALV, we are then going to set the tooltip information for the payment status column with an annotation. And we're going to use the cast expression to change the payment status column name to the name from a custom data element that we'll create shortly. So I've gone ahead and created a new report. And I'm going to now go ahead and create our local class. Uh, let's just call this local class invoice item ALV and this is the definition in class and in this class we're going to have our public section protected section, private section, but we're going to use our public section first. Here we're going to use the class create and give it a returning value of returning object result uh, which will be um, our class object and let's type ref to cl underscore item alv which is our class then we will um, create another method called run, we will actually um, run our, uh, we will actually display our um, ALV with our CDS view in it. And that's fine. Again, he has this error in Eclipse where it's asking us for the implementation, control one, and in the context menu, we will create it and it's created everything for us. Fantastic. So, we are going to tell our result to come back with a new class object from this. Brilliant. And run will be pop in our try block first. Try. And there's quite a long list of exceptions um, with this particular uh, class that we're going to use to display the ALV. So I'm just going to catch CX root for now uh, because this is just for demonstration purposes. To Alex SG. Okay, shift F1 to format. Right, so the class in question is cl underscore salv underscore GUI table. Uh, I, I think it, yes, IDA. And we're going to use the create for CDS view method. And in here, we are going to pop in our define where well our cds view name which is in the define view section here um so what well, we'd normally pop that in there but i want to show you the exception as well so i'm actually going to pop in the um the sql view name from the abbott catalog and we're going to pop it in there and trigger the error or trigger the exception rather and see what happens we'll switch that over shortly but let's finish off our statement I'm going to display it full screen and we're not going to worry about that exception and let's go ahead and display so that all looks fine we're going to catch it here when it error when the exception gets raised brilliant so that is our 
local class completed. Let's go ahead and add start of selection section. And we're going to go ahead and call local class LV static method create. Then with some method chaining, we're going to just go ahead and call run shift F1, control S, control F2 to check, control F3 to activate and F8 to execute. Ah, yes, I've forgotten to do something with this exception. So let's again use class underscore demo underscore output to display it. Alex MSG and we'll call get long text for this object. All right, we don't care about that. Okay, let's reactivate and execute again. And here's our exception. Uh, in this case, it's the wrong name or unknown name in this case. Um, body blah, was it caught? And we can do something with our exception there. So that means our exemption handling is working fine. So let's go ahead and take the correct CDS view name and pop that in here and we activate and execute and there you are displayed nicely and in a tidy fashion now let's go ahead and write in our annotation and we'll need to go back to our CDS view for that and all we need to do in this case is just above our case statement for the payment status, we are going to add our annotation here. And that is going to be end user text. And we just need the quick info for now because we're going to pull the label from our data element shortly. So let's get this all onto one line. And we can just write it like this for now. And we'll change this column to, we'll uh, change the tooltip rather to paid when we hover over it. And that looks fine. We should be able to save and activate. So we can now execute this again. And you can see our column name is gone, which we'll deal with shortly. But there you can see our tooltip has said paid. Now let's go ahead and create our data element. Now we go to File, New, Other. And under we're under the ABAP section. Then we go under Dictionary. And we look for the data element. Let's call it Z. There we go, payment status, it's already there. Payment status. And we'll put it in our local package for now. And you go ahead and click Finish. Then we're presented with our next screen where we need to define all our bits and pieces. It's a flag and we will call the column or the short description Paid. We won't worry about medium or long. And we should be able to control S, control F2, and control F3 to activate. Now let's go ahead and cast this over our payment status. So we're going to call the cast statement and that can go down here. And we're going to cast this as Z underscore payment underscore status. And what's the error here? Okay, so we can add preserving type. That's fine. All right, now if we go back, 
close that. If we go and execute our report once again, we have our payment column and our tooltip. So there you go. If you guys have any questions or queries, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And don't forget, if you like the video, to hit that like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching.